hi friends welcome to my channel and today in this video i'm going to show you how to rename your domain control in active directory so renaming the domain control is not a straightforward how you do the computer object rename in the active directory so <coughs> there is a specific way uh, to assign a new computer name and then uh, <coughs> then change the remove the old computer name from your infrastructure so it, it will not impact any anything which is running on the basis of FUDN or something related to you know active directory infrastructure and all in your domain control infrastructure and within active directory so these are the six steps which I have written here so first is uh, um, adding an alternative computer name so you can see netdom computer this is a command line which you can use to add a, a new uh, computer name in the in your existing server existing domain controller and then you can check the name which you just added it's available or not and then you need to switch over the make the primary make the primary new name you need to make the primary and reboot the domain controller and check the new name is available or not and then finally you can remove the old name and rename the uh, restart the host so this is a simple six step but i'm going to show you step by step so this is you can see um, uh, our old uh, server win2k 12dc01 which we have migrated uh, done the os upgrade uh, for the domain controller in last uh, two videos so if you want to see how how you can upgrade your domain control you can go and watch uh, last two videos on my channel uh, uh, before this video so i have i have given demo for the in place upgrade and uh, creating a brand new domain control and existing the uh, decommissioning the existing domain control so you can refer the both so now you can see the host name is win2k dc01 means this is uh, the old name which uh, where it was running on windows over 2012 now we want it to replace so i'll go ahead and start this thing so the first thing i'll show you what is here so if i go and show you what is the current computer name on this machine so I'm going to put this command in the uh, basically description you can refer from there so you can see currently it's having one name win2k12 dc01 which is the computer name so I'm going to add a run the step one which is here so I'm going to add an alternative name so this is the command so netdom query uh, netdom computer name this is the comp current computer name and add the secondary you can add so in secondary you can see i have mentioned dc0 uh, win2k uh, 22 dc01 and then you can check the computer name is added or not you can verify the computer name is added now so this is good now you need to make this uh, new name as a primary so this is what i'm going to type Oops. Let me copy the command from notepad so you can see the net uh, net on computer name and this is the old computer name and make primary is a new computer name which we are going to do so hit enter now you can see the command completed successfully name after reboot so this is fine now just verify both computer name is available there now we can go ahead and reboot this server so currently if you see everywhere it was showing the old name so if you go to active directory domain name site and services anywhere you will see now the new name is reflected here also new name reflected but the host name also you will see here the old host name so this is good we can see the name is uh, reflecting someplace the new name now go ahead and reboot this so post reboot we need to perform the sanity check so we will check the if uh, new name is done or not uh, <coughs> we will verify that uh, this like netm query now it should give uh, run with a new name which we have changed and then remove the old name so this is what we are going to do so just wait for some time that's the computer boot and also you, you can verify from other nodes if your computer name of domain control is reflecting on other infrastructure also so just wait for some time get the machine up so 
now it's booted I'm going to log in with my account so now you can see here the name is changed here also now you can go ahead and verify if the command is giving output from the new name the damn computer name so we see that also so yes you can see the primary is new name now and secondary is also there so we can go ahead and remove the secondary name so just put this command so net name computer name new computer name and then remove old computer name then now we are completed the activity now you can see the only one computer name we are getting so this is the final step so i still recommend go ahead and take one reboot to make sure everything good now from second domain control you can also verify the things so i recommend you to go ahead and reboot all the domain controller which is available on your infrastructure and make sure everything working perfectly fine post the pdc or primary domain controller name change so let the uh, this machine come and then we will reboot this host also just to make sure everything is rebooted in infrastructure and all good dc01 is booted i'll go ahead and reboot the dc2 also so restart i'll go to dc01 and verify everything so uh, let's verify the dns dns is all good you can verify the host name is reflecting correctly so dc02 dc01 dc02 this is good on the dns also you can verify the old name so what you can do you can delete the old name because here you need to do it manual so this is good and now let's verify the users and computers so you can see here dc01 and dc02 this is good also you can verify in site and services to make sure the new name is available for the site and services replication and all so you can see into k22 dc01 dc02 so this is good now let's verify from dc02 also So here go to this in computers you can see here from here also you can see both the domain controllers and if you was to change the domain control you will be able to see both the new domain control name so this is how you can rename your active directory domain controller in it within active directory infrastructure so thanks for watching please subscribe me for more videos in and and if you have any query any question you can post me on below given mail addies Thank you once again. Bye-bye.